I'm Tom. And I'm Alan. And today we, well, just another episode of Let's Talk Tech. What's this, our third episode? Yeah, third okay. Third episode? Yay. No, it was fourth, I think. Fourth? Whatever. Fourth episode. It's another and great episode of Let's Talk Tech. Uh, today's segments are going to be on, our first segment is going to be Smoothwall, which is a, a Linux-based uh, firewall, dedicated firewalls operating system. Our second our second uh, segment is going to be on school laptops. What's a better laptop to get for you to go back to school and why you shouldn't buy some random crappy laptop off the TV? Just because it's cheap. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and our third segment is going to be wireless versus wired. Mouses, internet, anything you can think of. Yeah, why, why which would you one prefer is which one? Yeah. Okay, so you starting off? Okay, well, Smoothwall, like I said before, is a Linux based, it's an open source, free. Uh, unless you don't buy the corporate edition. Yeah. Dude, what's that, like $500? $500. $500. $500. $500. But it's free for the regular, th for the regular version, it's free for 3.0 and 2.0. It's a, f it's a great free uh, it's firewall. It's a great free operating system. Now, the reason it's so great is because it is Linux-based. Yeah. And as we talked about, Linux-based is the best. It's strong. Because stronger. it is so hard to hack. It's very hard to hack, and it's stronger. It has more passwords and everything. And... It's just a great program, but the bad thing about it that's is... That's why Windows does not make a firewall. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. I mean, that's why it's so crappy. But another thing is, um, the bad thing about it is you need another computer to run it. It's not yeah, like... Yeah, you can't just run it. You, you can't just run the... You can't just put it on your computer and run it. You have to have it independent. Uh, yeah, me dedicated. and Thomas run it at the house. We use the Smoola program, but we have it. We have the Smoola on a <laughs> separate computer um, that... Separate computer in the URAC system. <laughs> okay. Um, we have it on a separate computer in the URAC system, so we don't have to worry about that, but we also have it connected to a switch, which is like, what, 24 ports? Yeah. It's 24 a 24-port switch. No, it's a 50-port or 100-port. Whatever. Uh, it's a switch. I think it's 20-something ports. And that, that runs our network. And that just runs throughout and the house. And the firewall is the thing that protects you, so it's, it's the first defense against something you're trying to break in. So if somebody wants to hack your computer, Firewalled, right? That you have, yeah, they have firewall. to go through the it's firewall. It's not going to be able to go through. What it does is when you first get into, when you first start the internet, you have to actually connect. In a, even if you're using dial-up or or broadband or DSL, you actually have to connect and tell it, okay, I want to allow myself through the network. You have to put a password just to get into your own internet. Yeah, but it's more secure. Yeah, it's so definitely, that's what makes it good. more secure. It's more security enabled and everything like that. Other than when you just get on the internet, that means anyone can walk in. Yeah. And another really good thing about it is you don't need a lot of system requirements. So you can just find like an old Pentium 2 with like 256 megabytes of RAM and you'll run it fine. It doesn't need very much. It needs pretty much junky stuff. It's but as me and Thomas realized, for good. the people that know what we're talking about, for as, lo as far as SCSI drives go, you cannot use the Smoothwall 2.0 or 3.0 with a SCSI system. Uh, SCSI or, RAID, or yeah. RAID array. You can't use RAID it. RAID array, SCSI system, don't bother using it. It won't work. You has have to, be, to buy the corporate edition, which is five. Has to be IDE, dollars. and it can't be a mirror drive. Yeah, so don't even bother with that. But mm. yeah, it's a very good program, even though it's independent. And so, it's free. And it's if it is because it's independent, I don't suggest it for the home users. For most home users, if like, you don't know what it, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't really know yeah. a lot In about order computers, to do that, you have if you, to have. A if you know even a medium amount of computers, you can run this. If you know how to install an operating system. You, yeah, you can basically run yeah. this. The hard like part. Like we said, it's free off the internet. I'll put the I'll put the link on the our page, website. But it's smoothwall.org. You can download it free. You can download the manual, which will tell you everything you need to know about downloading it. And, and it any gives kind you of the errors. Uh, gives you the ISO file. Yeah. Which it gives you, you the ISO file, which you need to burn a CD. Make sure it is a CD min It's either a CD minus R or a CD plus R. If you put it on a CD RW or a CD like a CD RW, it won't, the uh, CD does not close, so you can't boot it from that. It won't CD. be a bootable. So just CD. make sure it's a CDR. Yes. Okay. Um, um, what do you want? You anything else or? Uh, actually, let's go to a commercial. Okay, well, let's go to a commercial. One of our shortest segments. We'll be back in a sec.